Hi friends and welcome back to another video with me. My name is Cotton Candy Doll. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome all. Hi, this is a shifting video. First thing I want to do is acknowledge everyone. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to me. I've made it to 300 subscribers. <laughs> And I want to say thank you. I appreciate all of you for being there for me, for listening to my shifting stories. I'm so grateful I've had someone to talk to all this time. Because as you know, you know, I don't really talk to anyone about this stuff. So I just wanted to put that out there before I started my video. And I also want to acknowledge that, you know, I haven't been saying to this, to, um, I haven't really been saying to subscribe to my channel because I feel like I don't want to put pressure on people. People should be able to subscribe if they want. Because the reality is, if you really like a channel, you're going to subscribe, regardless of saying subscribe to my channel and all that. Also, um, I wasn't really looking to, I wasn't looking to like really make money from YouTube. I did want to make money, but I, I was looking for like to make money with like sponsorships more than my subscriptions. I like being a small channel because I'm basically like a hidden treasure. I'm like the hidden gold at, on the bottom of the dirt that you don't even know is there. <laughs> until you've dug enough to find it so that's kind of a weird like that's kind of a weird metaphor <laughs> I know but that's how I look at me so I'm just happy either way like I just like sharing so I'm so grateful that my channel is is growing though and more people are getting to know about my channel because then then they get to you know if they're trying to shift or if they're trying to they figure they're trying to figure out why they can't shift at least I might have some kind of answers for them because I talked about why I was able to shift and what it was like before I could shift. So I'm hoping my information is actually helping people out there. And I hope you guys are digging and digging if you haven't, and you're finding the answers to the things that you're looking for. Before I continue with this video, I want to say that this might be a long video. <laughs> my last video wasn't really that long. These videos, I like to make them longer when I go into my shifts with Toshinori's house because there's just so much detail I have to put in there. I have a lot of explaining this time to do with the thumbnail that was, the, was there, so you guys kind of saw. But at the same time, I don't feel like, um, I don't want to give away spoilers. I wonder if my thumbnails are giving away like spoilers. Hmm. I haven't even thought about that, <laughs> like it might be. Anyway, I'm going to jump into what happened when I went back there. I originally, I, went, I came back there and I knew I wanted to pick one. I wanted to pick one for two reasons. Number one, uh, <laughs> the number one reason I wanted to pick one was because I knew what one was. He said it was going to be spanking. But he said it was going to be a special spanking. So I figured he probably is just, he's probably just telling me that to get me to pick two. That way I get freaked out and pick two. So I have every in intention of picking one. And then I shifted there. I shifted to his house. And as soon as I got there, I went in the house and... He's sitting on a couch and his back is to me. And I'm like, Tushinori, he's like, oh, you made it. I'm like, yeah, I made it. I'm like, um, so I just walked over to him, guys, and I like threw my body over his knee. And he like kind of caught me. I guess he wasn't expecting me to be like so susceptible to it, like susceptible. Is it susceptible or accept accepting? I don't know, but I basically just walked up and kind of like just plopped myself over his knee like, okay, we're going to get this over with, right? And I made sure to wear like... So I came there in like this gown. It's probably my last gown. I don't have any more since they all get ruined. I, I was wearing undergarments underneath and I just said, you know, no matter what I'll say that I can't take them off because my story is I'm on my period still. <laughs> which is, you know, that's a complete lie and everything. You know, I'm not on my period. How can I be? So I throw myself over my shell, over his, um, I throw myself over his knees and he's just like, cotton candy doll, what are you doing? And I'm like, my, I'm here for my punishment. You told me to come right back. And he goes, oh, that's right. Your punishment. That's right. You chose two, right? I said, no, I chose one. I didn't choose two. He's like, oh, that's right. You wanted one. Okay. He's like, let's go somewhere else. I was like, oh, why can't we do it out here? I'm already like over here. And he's like, nope. And he like kind of stands up and he kind of like picks me up. And he just like sits me down. And he's like, I'm going to go in the room and I'll be right back. So he goes in the room. It's silent. And I'm looking around. I'm trying to see like what I can do while he's gone. And I'm thinking, you know, 
I think I, if he had like a drink here, I could drink and then I'll be like wasted and then it won't even matter or whatever it is. I can just, I won't have to deal with it. Like I'm basically looking for like a silent way out without having a way out. That way he can still do it. But maybe if I'm not here, maybe I could drug myself and maybe he can, no. I'm like, no, you know, you, when I'm going to get into this kind of trouble with him again, my heart is always racing. <laughs> my heart is racing because I don't know what he has planned. Um, so like I'm walking across this floor. I'm just admiring like his whole apartment. I'm just like, this house is really, really nice. Like, it's really nice. And then I see this door and I'm like, what is this door? I didn't notice the door was here before. No, it's not a red room. <laughs> this is not 50 Shades, okay? So, but that, that kind of popped into my head when I saw the door. I tried to like open it and it didn't open. So then Toshinori comes back out and I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, by the way, that's the basement. Did you need, did you want to go down to the basement or something? I'm like, no. He goes, well, he goes, it's, it's empty down there. So it's dark. And I'm like, okay. And I just walk away from there. Like, I've never noticed a room before. So he said, it's just the basement, whatever. So I just walked away from there. He's like, come with me. He took my hand and like kind of like pulled me into the room. And then he goes over to the bed and he's like, okay, so lay across the bed. And I'm like, do I have to lay? I was like, how do you want me to lay? Do you want me to lay like... So now I'm just being weird. <laughs> I'm being weird and I'm making him feel weird about it because it's like, dang it, I got to get in trouble. But it's like, I want to make you feel as awkward as possible. Maybe you'll change your mind, you know, if I, if I make you feel like, you know. <laughs> so guys, I do something I probably shouldn't. I climb on the bed and I'm like... He's like, okay. He goes, now lean forward. He's like, let your feet dangle off. And I go like this. And I like dangle my feet off. And he's like, yeah, just like that. So my stomach is laying flat. But the rest of my body, like my bottom half, is hanging off the bed. And he's like, so hold on to the sides of... He goes, hold on to the sides. Try to hold on to like the sides of the bed. But the thing is, the bed is too big for that anyway. I can't hang on to the sides. So basically, you mean just hold on to the blanket... And I get the feeling this is not going to work. This is going to fall off. And I'm just thinking, like, why is he being so weird about, like, why can't I just be over your knee? That's usually how you do this. Or the one time I received my pounding while I received my spanking, you know, it was like, it was basically like doggy style, kind of. It was like that, guys, 100%. And I'm just thinking, like, why can't it be like that? Why do I have to struggle to hold myself up while I get swatted? Like, this is a, this is a mess. This isn't going to work. So I'm laying down like that, and I'm just like, and he's like, okay, so I'm going to explain to you everything I do before I do it. <laughs> so then I go, what's my safe word? He's like, what? I go, what's my safe word? He goes, no, no, you're not getting, you're not getting a safe word. Like, I'm trying to turn this into something that's not basically like a reward system or whatever. And then he's like, okay, so I'm going to get started, Okay. So he's, he, um, he swats me one time and it freaking hurts guys. It hurts so bad. And I don't know if I was too drugged to notice last time or what, but it freaking hurt. Just one hurt. And I'm like, oh damn. <laughs> and I, and I, and I'm like, wait, I'm like, I'm like, wait, I'm like, how many times are you going to do this? He's like, well, I thought about that. At first I was only going to do 10. He goes, when I came home that day from the school, I, I knew that you came up there, and so I figured if you did tell me, it would only be like 10. And I'm like, okay, well, how many is it now? He goes, well, you told me the truth. I'm like, okay, yeah, I told you the truth. What? And he's like, well, it's going to be like 30. I'm like, 30? Like, I'm not even going to have a, I'm not even going to have a bottom anymore. What do you mean? Like, I'm not going to have a butt anymore. You do that. I was like, you can't. And he goes, just turn around, just take another one. And he swats me again, and I go, ow, and I go, daddy, you shouldn't have, he goes, stop it. I'm like, like, his tone got so serious, he got so, like, he's not playing with me. So I'm like, okay, well, so then he hit, he, I get a third swat. He only gets to the four, and then I go, okay, I can't do this. And he's like, you can't, what do you mean you can't do this? I'm like, I can't do this. This is too much for me. Like, it hurts too much. I'm in a lot of pain here. 
and I'm holding, I'm holding myself because I'm like, it freaking hurts. And I sit on the bed and then he sits next to me and he's like, all right, well, if you don't want to, um, if you don't receive the, don't want to receive the spankings, you don't have to. And I look at him and I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah, you don't have to. I don't want my cotton candy doll to suffer in this way. I would hate to see you cry again. And I'm like, oh, he actually cares if I cry. Oh, that's so sweet. He goes, okay, so then two. I'm like, why? He goes, so two. We're going we're to do two. You have to get punished for what you did. I'm sorry. You have to. Otherwise, you're going to keep doing this stuff over and over again. And I'm like, but it's not really effective because I keep doing it anyway. He goes, no, I think it was because you confessed to me. So I feel like I'm getting closer to what I want from you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, that's some excuse, you know. So I go, what are we going to do then? He goes, we're going to do, uh, it's going to be number two, but it's going to be, guys, number two. Oh, my God. I fully came there with the intent. I came there with the intent of accepting, like, just accepting number one. Just accepting the spanking. Uh, <laughs> oh, it was freaking insane. Guys, it was freaking crazy, okay? Did you think the wolf cakes thing and the, the maze, the freaking weird flower, freaking forest shit was crazy? Okay, so. Yoshinori has his big box wrapped. And I go, oh God, what's in the box? I unwrap the box and it has a freaking bunny suit in it. It has bunny ears, got bunny tail. It's basically the wolf suit. Exactly the same. And I go, do you have some kind of um, fetish or something? And he goes, no, this is your punishment. This is, he goes, but I can't treat a rabbit like a wolf, can I? They're not as vicious as wolves. They're cute and they're cuddly. So today you're going to be my bunny cakes. And I'm like, why do I have to be cakes? Why can't I be like, I don't know, something else. And he's like, you're bunny cakes today. So I have these freaking ears on it. And he goes, you know what to do. You're going to give me your hands. So I do like this. I give him my hands. He cuffs them. And he goes, oh, because you're, um, because you're, um, because you're a bunny. Because you're my bunny. My rabbit, my rabbit, rabbit. So guys. I freeze. I'm like. What did you just say? He goes, your bunny cakes. I said, no, before you said that, there is an erotic, there is an erotic tale I wrote. Long time ago, years ago, forgot about it. Okay, first off, in Rabbit's Rabbit, there is no wolf, okay? There's no wolf in the story. There's a cat, there's a kitty, there's no wolf. I wrote this a long time ago. It's, it's, it's freaking... <laughs> Okay, it's very erotic. It's very, like, sexual, okay? So, like, this is years ago, though. Like, how did you even know about this, number one? Don't try to put this into play. I do not want that same crap to happen to me that happened to her. So he's like, um, I'm just joking. Bunny cakes. And he kisses me. And he's like, okay, I can't resist you. You're so sweet. And I'm like, yeah, because I'm cotton candy. He goes, bunny cakes today. I'm like, what the fuck? So then he gets out his gun again. I'm like, oh my God, his freaking gun. And he's like, you know what? He puts it on his back. He goes, because I can't treat you like a wolf, I'm not going to shoot you. I go, you're not? He's like, no, I'm not going to shoot you that much. <laughs> I'm like, what does that mean? He goes, oh, well, rabbits can't talk, so my bunny cakes won't be able to speak, so I'm going to put this in their mouth. And he walks up and he puts a gag he has his little ball and gag. He puts it in my mouth. So get this mental image of me, okay? Rabbit ears, rabbit tail. Same contraction device on me as the wolf. And, uh, um, and I have the ball in my mouth this time. So I have basically have a gag. He's like, I forgot one more thing. And I go, what? And I'm hoping he doesn't remember the freaking vibrated thing that, you know, where I had to keep howling. He's like, lay down. I'm like, no. And he's like, you can't tell me no. 
But my nail was like, mm, like that. And he goes, oh, are you resisting? Are you refusing? He's like, okay. He like just pushes me over. And I finally see what it is. It's like this. Um, so it looks like a hot dog. Okay. But it's the top part is like rounder. It's almost like a ball. But it like pulsates or whatever. So he put that in me. And he goes, every time I say funny, I want you to hop. And I'm like, oh my God, now I gotta hop? Like, <laughs> well, I'm like, well, first off, this is a nightmare, okay? I, I really wish I could switch back to one. But at the same time, I don't feel like I can handle one. Like, it's too much. It's way too much. Anyway, we play our little game. I'm hopping through the freaking forest, flowers, crap. And I'm going to try to stop cursing too. There's like this, this, this forest of flowers. And um, so I'm like, I got to get clever because I know that I'm out here and I know this is my punishment, but regardless, I'm still going through, right? And every time he sees me hop, you know, the bullet is grazing me. It's like he's purposely not trying to shoot me. He's doing this on purpose. And it hurts. And I have a mark too, guys, right on my shoulder. But I would have to undo my dress. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can show you guys this time. <laughs> um, no, not this shoulder. Oh, this is so TMI. I swear I'm not getting naked. I'm just. Okay. Oh, no, I can even show you guys. It's a freaking, it's huge. I'm not crazy, guys. I promise. I can promise I'm not crazy. All right. I can't freaking find it. Damn it. It was hurting earlier. Now it's like invisible. I swear. You could literally see it there. It was like a mark. It was the, from when the thing, it, okay, so it grazed over me like this and it hit my shoulder. And that whole area, this whole part went numb. So then. I kept running, I, I turned the corner and there's like this little, um, I noticed there's like a ton of like these tall, like tulips pulling up out of the ground, right? So then I crawl into that little space and I basically hide there. So he starts calling me and he doesn't like see me. He's like, funny, funny cakes. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to hop. I'm just going to stay here. Well, guess what? I told you guys what happens if I don't move, right? Oh my god, guys. It was, it was, he found me. He found me because <laughs> I couldn't stay still. Okay, I couldn't keep my voice down. I couldn't not, I couldn't not make any sound. It was impossible. With the thing pulsating and he all he did was keep turning it up higher and higher and at some point i was like screaming and i was like struggling to like like contain myself and he came over and he's like that looks rough <laughs> and i'm like what the heck so then like he picks me up he carries me into back into the house and he takes me in his room and i'm like well, he's going to get me in the shower or he's going to get me in the bath now or whatever. And I hear him running the bath water and I'm like, oh, finally it's over. But then he comes out and he's like, um, I'm like, what? He's like, he's like bunny cakes. I'm like, he's like, let's go in the basement. <laughs> nope. I'm like this, like, mm -mm -mm -mm. I can't really talk, so I'm just like, mm -mm -mm. he's like, yeah, I think we should go in the basement. I'm like, mm -mm -mm -mm. so he carries me down the basement. It's so dark on the way down. Like, I can't even see anything. He's like holding me in his arms and I could feel like his strength and I could feel the warmness against him. And I actually like being against him like that. I'm all worn out, guys, because I've had like, I'm telling you, I've had like 10 forced O's because... I got tired of being sh shot. <laughs> I got tired of being like grazed. That crap hurt. It hurt my neck. It hurt my, sh it hurt my shoulder. 
I'm surprised like that's the only mark that I have visible on me. But yeah, I, I noticed it and I'm like, okay. And before you guys could barely see that one. This one is like visible. I swear I wasn't trying to give you guys like a show earlier <laughs> or anything. Like you really want to see me. I mean, I'm not like skinny girl either. I'm like, I'm not skinny guys at all. I was smaller than I was a little bit smaller, not that much smaller. But then the pandemic hit. Anyway, it's carrying me downstairs and it's dark. And it doesn't have a weird smell. I thought it would smell like the basement. So right off the bat, I knew he was lying when he said it was empty. <laughs> I get to the bottom of the stairs. He turns the lights on and like, it's not a red room. It's purple. And if there's a cage over there in the corner. And it has like, um, so it has a pole on the cage. <laughs> this is like a pole inside. So he takes the gag out of my mouth and he undoes my, um, he undoes my cuffs and he's like, I want you to dance for me. And he has this chair. It's like a big, um, it's almost like a king's chair. And, um, he unbuttons the top part of, um, the top part of the outfit because it unbuttons. And then he takes off the, so there's like flaps over where like my bosom is covered up. He unflaps them. So like everything is exposed. And so now I'm like, <laughs> he's like dance for me. And I'm like, <laughs> it's just the most awkward thing on the planet. Guys, <laughs> cause I'm like, what the heck? Like, I didn't laugh or smile. I was just so embarrassed. I'm just like, okay. Uh, and I think he enjoys making me feel like that. Like making me feel like put on the spot or something. But then I just thought about how much I loved him. And I thought about, you know, how much I want to please him. So I like swung around the pole. And um, I'm not a pole dancer. I don't know how to dance on the pole, but I did my best to try to like tease him on there as much as I could. And then he, um, so then like he pulls me on his lap he, and we make out down there. And then I still have the thing, the probe in me or whatever. He presses the button. And I'm like twitching and like trying to like move off of him. And he's like holding me there and he's like, I want to see. And I'm like, what do you, what do you want to see? He's like, I want to see your face. I want to see how you look when you, when you release someone. <laughs> I don't want him to see. And it's too much. It's too much pressure. I'm like, so I'm trying to grab his hand and like, I'm trying to grab his hand because the button is in his hand, but he's like moving his hand away. Like, no, you can't take, he's like, what are you doing? No. And I'm like, so then I'm trying to like reach and, and he's like, you'll never get it. <laughs> like, I can't reach in me and, and I can't reach and, and pull it out. I can't. There's nothing attached to it. There's no string. It's not like a tampon or anything. It doesn't have like hooks on the end of it either. Like it's. It's freaking weird. So then he finally, you know, I, I finally, I didn't have a choice but to give in. I gave in and, and then after he took it out, then he entered me and it was, <laughs> and it was like lights out for me. Like we just, it was for hours and I couldn't like, um, I didn't have really have a break. And by the time I was done, he was done with me. I was like wrecked. When I say wrecked, but like I couldn't walk, I couldn't stand that was like exhausted i was tired i was like sweaty because he didn't have air on there seems like he was trying to like make me suffer the more he could but it was like i i still kind of enjoyed i'm not gonna tell him but i kind of enjoyed the punishment <laughs> i didn't like the running through the woods crap that was that's not fun that crap's never fun i didn't know two would be like that i didn't know i would be in a, like a cage and i would you know dance and then he told me next time, next time you get in a punishment, he says, next time you get into trouble and you have to get punishment, we're going to do this again. So I have another cage and it's different from this one. It's an actual cage. And I'm like, um, I'm like, no, thank you. And then he goes, oh, one more thing too. And his voice gets really deep and stern. He goes, if you ever call me daddy like that again. And I'm like, 
I was just playing with you. I'm sorry. And then he smiles like this dark smile goes on his face. And he's like, and then he kisses me again. He goes, come on, let's go. So now I go upstairs with him and we take a bath together, which you guys know I don't like that. I'm still not 100% used to that idea yet. I try to get used to it, but so then I talk to him while we're in there and I go, um, Toshinori. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, did you enjoy the punishment? And he's like, yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed punishing you because I like hearing your screams. I like watching you melt under me. I go, okay, well, I like melt watching you melt under me on Valentine's Day. And he's like, but I get to see you melt many more times and I get to watch you struggle and fight against it. There's nothing you can do. You can't stop it from happening. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, what he said, it irritated me just a little bit, but not to the point where I got angry. I was just like, okay, you know, now I'm like uncomfortable. So then I'm like, you know, do you ever feel like, you know, I'll get a chance to do that again? And he said, sometime in the future, I'll let you touch me again. Yeah. When you've earned it, when you've behaved, when you've been a good girl. I'm like, okay, well, so while we're in the so while we're in the, the tub, I talk to him and I say, you know what, um, I I want to take a break. I can't, I think I don't I don't want to come here every night. I can't give myself to you every night. And he says like, um, well, the reason I suggested it is so that like you would get used to me. The more you're with me, the more you'll get used to me. The more you'll get used to me touching you, kissing you, pounding you. And like, so I'm like, I guess that makes sense because the more intimate I am, the more often, the less of a problem I'll have with the tightening and stuff. So um, <laughs> for those of you who know, because you watched the premiere thing, anyway, um, so I, I just told him, you know, and he says, fine, I'll give you some time. He goes, by the way, um, I'm like, yeah. He's like, I knew you didn't have your, I know you didn't have your, um, your period. He's like, I looked up the information. It doesn't last 13 days. I'm like, how do you know that? He's like, I know. I'm like, but how do you know? He goes, I did my research. Plus you've had it last week. There's no way you can still have it. And I'm like, well, I guess that time is over. And he goes, that's actually why I upped your, um, your spankings. That's why I wanted to give you 30 instead of 20. And I'm like, dang it. And I go, well, you know. I just liked being treated that way. I like being treated, you know, like a princess. And he's like, I can understand that. But try to be honest with me from now on. Do you promise you'll be honest with me from now on? And I and I go, yes. And he's like, I need you to say it. And I say, yes, I promise I'll be honest with you from now on. <laughs> so then afterwards, you know, we did it again. And then I finally shifted back here, but... I mean that was a that was a that was a long and crazy day. I was not expecting all that, and I'm so glad my punishment's over. I wasn't expecting it to be crazy. I wasn't expecting it to be like the wolf thing, even though it kind of was, but it wasn't. I also held out a lot more this time than I did when I was the wolf. I kind of just howled every single time. I think I only had like one forced hold in because it was a lot. This time I kind of held it in a little bit more. So I kind of let it kind of just let it happen over and over. And it, I mean, it was pleasurable, but it was also like painful too, because it was like, I know I could stop it any time I wanted. All I had to do was just give away my position and then he would fire and he missed me. There were times he would miss me. He wouldn't always hit me all the time. This is weird. I know, right? What a creep. Like... He's, he's like, he's very like, he's kind of sadistic in like a creepy way. He kind of likes me in like a really yandere, like creepy way. Like, I think he would like, I feel like he would like try to drink my blood or something. At one point, like, at one point when like he picked me up, I felt him kind of like lick me. He like licked my neck or something. It was like a legit lick. Like he almost licked like my face. And I kind of cringed. It was kind of cringy a little bit. I'm like, you know, he does that. But <laughs> I had this most hilarious moment in the world. I think the only time I've ever been licked by anyone was a kid. 
he was pretending to be a dog and he goes, dog's lick, and he starts jumping and I'm laughing. I'm hilariously laughing because this kid is trying to lick my face. He keeps licking my arm and I'm laughing. I'm like, okay, you got to stop. You have to stop, stop, stop. You know, I finally told the kid to stop and I finally managed to stop laughing enough. But it's a child. Children are innocent and little and cute. And so I didn't mean anything in that way. He was trying to be a dog. <laughs> And I just thought it was hilariously funny that he didn't, because, you know, he didn't go a dog say bark, 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 or anything like that. Woof, dogs don't say woof or anything. You know, he just, that was what he remembered from dogs. Like, they jump up and they lick people. And he's trying to lick my face. Like, jump up and lick my face, just look at my arm. Anyway, that's my only encounter I ever had with anyone, like, trying to, like, lick me or something. And that for the kid, it wasn't in, like, that kind of way. He was playing. This guy was, he did it in like a really like sexual way, like he wanted me. And so sometimes he can scare me a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, guys. But I still need to find my undergarments. I don't know where they went. I think I'm just going to stop wearing stuff when I go to his house. That's, that's probably like the smart thing to do, right? I didn't really keep track of the time, so I don't know how long the video was, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll find out after I stop the video, but um, so I just want to say thanks again for everybody. Um, like I said, and um, um, write in the comments, you know, comment on which if you want me to ship somewhere else next or like I said, I'm, I haven't really been writing down. I haven't been um, scripting or anything like that. And when I do shift to these places, I don't always post them on here. Um, and I don't shift so much every day. It's, it's more like every other day or a lot of the times my guide will drag me places that he needs me to go to. And he won't even go with me. And it'll be this really bad, like scary place that I don't want to go to or I don't want to be. And he just can't accompany me there. And I know this is, these, these places I'm going to are like parts of the future, pieces of the future. And it has something to do with my journey here, why I'm here. And I know that. And I just don't know how I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> anyway, um, I want to talk about that more, but I think I'm going to wait until the next video because, like I said, I don't know how long this video was. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to give my video a like. Um, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified of other videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.